This time on Marketing to Tourist, I've got an idea for you. Maybe it's something you haven't considered before. Let's get started. You know how hard it is for the small tourist-related attraction to get a lot of visitors to their websites. And I have an idea that may help. But first, I wanted to remind you, coming up at the end of this video, you'll have the opportunity to get a 72-page PDF called Marketing 101. And if you have to leave before the end of the video, you can just go ahead, scrub to the end, and pick up your copy. But back to the subject at hand, how to create more visitors to your website. Have you considered a webcam for your tourist-related attraction. One of the things we're discovering today is that a lot of folks are using video and a lot of those people are using live video to get an idea of what the place they're going to visit is like. What is the weather today? What are people wearing? And you can install a web camera on your website in order to get more backlinks and visitors. Let me explain that backlink part to you. You see, Google and all the search engines are currently using backlinks as, we think, the biggest single determining factor in how they rank a web page. And there are a number of s smaller websites out there on the web that have hundreds of these webcam live feeds. If they can locate your website, they'll put it on their website so that people who are interested in coming to your town will pull up your website and your webcam on that page. Now there's a couple of things about installing a website with a webcam. One of those is you're going to be interested in the monthly cost of maintaining a webcam. You're also going to be interested in the quality of that camera. One of the things you will want to do is to make sure that your page that your webcam feed is on is in fact a landing page. In this particular example, we see the attraction itself, and we also see down the side a menu bar where we can get folks onto our website, they can buy tickets, they can do all the things we want them to do when they come to our attraction. We also can go to another example. Here's a website where it doesn't play. You see, not all webcams are compatible with all computers. This, by the way, went on a MacBook Pro, which is one of the most popular laptops out there, yet it doesn't play on Apple products. If you're interested in getting a webcam, make sure it's compatible with every computer out there. I'm going to do something I don't do very often. I'm going to recommend a webcam for you. This is Skyline webcams, and as you can see, they're actually quite high resolution. Compare that with this webcam, and you can see it's almost posted stamp size. It doesn't refresh very often. And the Skyline cam, on the other hand, a beautiful beach shot, the ocean out there, it really makes you wanna go visit this place. So I'm going to recommend Skyline webcams to you, and you can learn more by clicking right there. That'll take you to a page I've prepared on my website to tell you a little more about Skyline webcams. These cameras, by the way, don't cost any more than a good iPhone, and they're made in Europe, in Italy specifically, not in China, and they're made of high quality materials, and I think you'll find they're going to last many years. So an HD cam can have sound. If you have a small church or something like that, perhaps sound is very important to you. And the camera can go inside, outside, or even underwater. So Skyline Webcams is my recommendation. And once again, click right here. Listen, I thank you for joining me. And if you learned a little something, please subscribe so you know when the next video is coming out. If you've liked this, I've got a gift, a 72-page PDF. It's called Marketing 101, and it's for this small tourism-related business. You can have it by clicking right there. It'll take you to the website. Sign up for email so I have an address to send it to, and you can unsubscribe anytime you want. Guys, thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.